Hey everyone, it's Max Clausen, and I'm bringing you an update to my Blue Eyes White Dragon profile post Duelist Nexus. This is going to be a version that's not focused on the branded, it's more synchro reliant. I took this to locals. Spoiler alert, didn't do too well, but you know, that's the, deck. That's the reason, problem with these legacy kind of decks. You either see what you need or you don't see it, or, and then you know, the game's just bad RNG at that point. But, it's gonna go into the main extra and, and site for you guys. And I do have some duels, I rec and I did record my duels, so I may put those up for the raw footage. If you guys like that, be sure to let me know. But... Let's jump into the deck profile then. You're going to be starting off with your three Blue Eyes White Dragon, the ultimate creature of destruction. Your pure, the pure view, pure version, blah. You got to run the three ultis. If you don't have the ultis, you use the original art. And if you don't have that, or if you want to use a better version of it, you get the ghost rare. Which I don't have, but you know, money. But I may get it at some point. And then you rock out with its alternative form of Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. Special summon it by revealing a Blue Eyes in your hand. Only you can do that once per turn. And once per turn, you can destroy an opponent's monster, no matter what it is. Unless it's immune to card destruction. But then this card can't attack. So, long story short, other video, all the Blue Eyes videos in my, in my profile... I've always described this card because sometimes people pop forget about this, but this card's effect is a soft once per turn, and its effect doesn't hard lock it. So this card can only attack, can only activate its effect once, and this card cannot attack. However, if you remove it from the field and then bring it back, it is now counted as a new card. So then you can use the effect or attack, what have you. So it's a little trick that every Blue Arts player should know. Next, we run the one Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. You only need one in this kind of standard build because it's easy getting to it. You only run it at more if you're running with other kinds of things like branded or such. But Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, when a card on the field is destroyed, you can summon this card from your hand or graveyard. While you, you have to have a Blue Eyes on your field and or grave to even activate and resolve that effect. And he keeps all your other cards from being destroyed. And when he attacks or is attacked, at the start of the damage step, you can bounce a card from your opponent's field to their hand. Next up, we play the Chaos Levianir Dragon. Its effect apparently does keep it from attack from attacking, even if you don't use it. You know, if if that's actually how this card works, be sure to let me know in the comments. You know, if you know a judge or whatever, if you guys have seen this card, if you're a Chaos player rather. I mean, let me know because that doesn't sound right to me. Like, how can I not attack if I don't use the effect? I'm just summoning it. But regardless, you just banish lights and nor darks to summon this card. And he has three different effects depending on the kind of cards you banish. If you banish all light, you can monster reborn something. If you banish all darks, you shuffle a card from your opponent's hand to the deck. And if you banish both, you can destroy up to two cards your opponent controls. Next is the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. This card will help search out your polymerization or your ritual spell, but in this version, we're only running the one poly. And its other effect, while Blue Eyes is on the field or graveyard, he can search out a level 8 or high level 8 dragon. And well, during the next turn, it's in the graveyard, you can banish this. All dragons you control will gain a thousand attack points. So, say you, if you have like these on the field and something from the extra deck. You destroy something, Blue Eyes Jet Dragon activates its effect, revives itself, it will come out with 4,000 because this card doesn't stake cards you currently control, which is ridiculous to me. Next up for our Blue Eyes support, you do have to run the 3 Dictator of D. No matter what build of Blue Eyes you have, you have to run this card at 3. Its effect to summon itself is a, is a cost, I believe, or a condition, so you can't really get ash by it. So you send the Blue Eyes from your deck to the graveyard to special summon it. And then you can discard a Blue Eyes White Dragon or a card that mentions it to your graveyard to special summon Blue Eyes from the grave. So it can either be the original or the alternative. And you can redirect attacks while he's on the field. Next up, I do play the two Assault Synchrons. And I do play the two Ring of Worm. 
I know most builds. I there's one other few other builds that I would run, rather run Destrudo and Jet Synchron. I can kind of see the reason with Jet Synchron because you can just get it right back to the field. So I may play that. I may. This is just the first version of it. And I'm not sure about the Destrudo. Like that's eh, not really kind of my thing. So I may just do with the Jet Synchron. But these both are just literally the same card, different attributes and different types. They both can summon themselves, except for Ring of Worm, you have to have a normal monster, so it's all players know this. But Assault, you just summon it. And this helps make Chaos Angel stupidly easy in this deck, which is crazy. And if your Dragon Synchro Monster tributes itself or is banished, you can banish this card, revive it from the graveyard. So it tumbles off with your Spirit Dragon, which is insane. And Ring of Worm... If you have a normal monster, summon it, as I stated. And if you synchro summon while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish it, summon a level 2 token as a tuner. So it helps synchro climb even more. Next up for this little level 1 ones, we have the 2 Stone of Ancients, the 3 Sage with Eyes of Blue, and the 1 Stone of Legends, the OG Stone. Stone of Ancients helps get your blue eyes from the deck and back from the graveyard. Sage will ser search out either one of these guys. And while it's in the hand, you can send it as cost and target a monster on your field. An effect monster to send it to the graveyard to summon the blue eyes from your deck. And White Stone of Legends, you know, if it's sent from anywhere to the graveyard, just get a blue eyes to your hand, not a once per turn effect. So, one other build, I did see that he was running the Master with Eyes of Blue, which is a really insane tech, so I may end up putting that in here. I'll be sure to leave a link to that down in the description. If you guys want to check him out, you know, support on all the Blue Eyes players. We got it. We got to because this monster is kind of eh. But this is all the monsters. There's no hand traps, but, you know, again, it's only one version. Off to the spells. We play the best combo of Triple Melody of Awakening Dragon and Triple Trade-In. So I understand that a lot of Blue Eyes players say, you know, Prosperity is pretty good because we don't really go into everything in the extra deck. And that is the case, but Blue Eyes is somewhat, and always in my opinion, been some like the OTK kind of deck. Like, you don't want to leave your opponent with a little bit of life points because then they can come back. <laughs> And, you know, Prosperity is a card that makes that happen. Because if you use it, you can only do half battle damage. And then you can't even draw anything for the rest of the turn. And I've never really liked that card in Blue Eyes. It's a good card, but not for everything. And definitely not for Blue Eyes. So trading is always a staple. You must play this. Because there are going to be times when you draw a level 8 or search out a level 8. And then you can't even do anything with it if you have Prosperity. And especially if you have, you know duality which isn't going to be in your graveyard sometimes then you can't even use that effect the same turn you use prosperity because you have to draw a card so you know it's guys just don't don't play prosperity in blue eyes play trading this is the card for blue eyes like stop playing these games guys like you, if you've been in this game long enough you should know trading is the best card for a level eight deck speaking of duality three of that Tribute your level, tribute your monster that has a level and attribute, a light obviously, or a dark. Summon one from the deck or extra deck of the different attribute but same type and level. So with blue eyes and dragons in general, that's almost always the goddamn kitchen sink. And while it's in the graveyard, you can banish this card, shuffle back one of your light and dark monsters to your deck, and then draw a card. So it's a pretty good card to discard off of Melody. Next up, I do run the double triple tactics talents and the two tuning to search out my assault sync on and hopefully get something in the graveyard that'll help boost up my combos. Triple tactics, just you know, if I can draw two or if you've drilled me, I can just look at your hand, get, get rid of something else. And now for our one us, the one monster reborn. I believe this is a staple for Blue Eyes deck because you know, you want monsters on your field. The one call by to stop such things like Ash and Ordro, more importantly. The one Foolish Burial. The one Polymerization. And the one One for One. I don't have Dragon Shrine. If I did, I'd play that and I'd probably, I definitely would take out a duality for it. But 
I do not, so I will be getting that in time. So patience, patience, guys. Oh, the glare. Next, I do play the two imperm just for the only hand trap, and because you've seen the tyrant dragon, you only need like so many copies of a trap because you know he can recycle them for you, which we'll talk about now. Since that is it for the main deck, a clean forty. Next up for the extra deck. We play the Tyrant Dragon, just requires a Blue Eyes and a Dragon Monster. It meet completely immune to trap cards, and when it if battles, at the end of the battle phase, you can set one of your trap cards back from your graveyard. So this helps because, you know, you don't have to run too many copies of the trap and then just have it be sitting there dead or just, you know, can't even use it. Next, I do run the One Triad's Master because there are times I found that I have dictator on the field and then i can't link off or fuse with him or whatever but you know since i have two level two tuners i can summon them go for this and then keep synchro climbing which is crazy so he has different effects based on what you use to sun synchro summon him with if you use a five and a one you can destroy another card on the field a two and a four which i have you can draw a card which is the most important effect and if you use three and a three this card can be treated as a tuner monster Next, we do have the one Moonlight Dragon that we cheat out with Blue Eye Spirit. The one Beals, my favorite dragon synchro monster. One of them, rather. When this, basically, this is the original Chaos Angel. Just duality into that. If, like, say the opponent has a Chaos Angel of their own, just, I right, you summoned it. My turn, just summon this. Boom. Now you can't uh, beat me with battle or effects. And anytime you take damage, he gains that. Uh, that same amount as attack permanently unless you hit him with an imperm <laughs> so yeah the this would be a monster the opponent has to hit with an imperm or a veiler because he'll just sit there and get stronger and stronger and we do run the one crystal wing which we could cheat out well not really cheat out but you know could just summon moonlight which would be a waste in my opinion which is why i also like running tri edge because i get the effect I summon one of my other tuners, go right into him, which is crazy, and I have done that in testing. For the nines, we do play the two blue eyes monsters pretty much. I know he's not blue eyes, but damn it, he is one in spirit. Uh, and a spirit dragon. Tag out for a light synchro dragon, which is one of the craziest monsters coming up. And this also triggers off your assault synchron, so combos. So the combo is you tribute off this, probably summon this if you need to. Then his effect will activate as a channeling one. Assault will be channeling two, bringing this back. So now he's protected. He's protected. You have your graveyard effect negation back. And uh, pendulum and soul charge effect stopper. As well as any other synchro monster that you would have on the field. Next that I can duality into is the hot red dragon archfiend abyss. This card is really crazy, just once per turn negate a card face of cards, so this can, can definitely stop Dark Ruler no more, because say I have one of my face down spell or trap cards, I just activate that as a chain link 2 to Dark Ruler, then in that same chain, chain link 3, turn off Dark Ruler, so you know, shut up, <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, for the 10s, we do have the Baron de Fleur, and the Chaos Angel. And the Bispio Despater. Crazy. All the crazy ones. I You could cut Baron. But I have found at times she does help out with combos. So, you know, all personal preference. But you definitely want to run these two. Like, these goddamn things. Like, bruh. E, both easily summonable. Which is crazy. And then we play the Crimson Dragon. My god. So... In case you guys didn't know, like, how you making that? Again, blue eye spirit. Tag out for a light synchro dragon. This is a light synchro dragon, which is ridiculous to me. And then you will get assault synchrons effect to bring this back. And then you can, in that same chain, use this. Target this blue eye spirit dragon. Send this back to the extra deck. Summon this, which is ridiculous. Or if I did have the uh, Chaos Archfiend of 
Chaos King Archfiend. I could, like, tag it out for this as well, which is crazy. I may do that now that I'm thinking about it. But, yeah, this is the Synchro lineup, heavy Synchro line. And for the only two XCs I play are the Galaxy Photon Lord and the Gal Hope, Hope Harbinger. The two rank eights, I believe you should only be playing in Blue Eyes now. As I said, this is more Synchro Reliant. And the one Link monster I do play is the Heavenly Spears. I did have Link Karibo, but there are cases like, mm, I don't always have a level 1 on the field, so it's going to be a dead card. So this is going a lot more live because our extra deck is pretty much all Dragon. Sands for B Sands for Baron the Floor and Chaos Angel and uh, Tri-Edge, but you know, we're rocking with Dragons all day. That's it for the extra deck. Very clean. I really, li really love this extra deck. Now for the side deck. Gonna be going through some testing. And to be honest, I did side some of these, but I never even saw them. And when I did see them, it wasn't helpful. So, yeah. One Amorphic Goliath. I can send it to the graveyard, then reborn it back and lock the opponent out of summoning from the extra deck. For the boss... In annoying boss monster removal, the two gamma seals, level eight, you can trade it in or just whatever have you. For the other out for dark ruler, I have the two blizzard or any other card. Negate one of your spell cards and bounce it back. To, and if it wouldn't hit the graveyard, bounce it back to your hand. You can't activate any more copies of that same card this turn, so it helps get stop dark ruler or regeki dark hole. Any other kind of crazy spell card that's going to stop and blow me out. I play the two Twin Twister because this card fodder in this deck is pretty good. And, you know, this was my staple card back when it first came out. And I play the two Dark Ruler. Again, Blue Eyes is kind of a beat down deck, but you can't beat down after you've used Dark Ruler. Next up for the three of tra the traps, I do have the three skill drain because, you know, we're just playing big beat beat, beat you down deck. So, if our effects negate it, that's cool. I'm still like 3,000, 4,000, whatever have you, oh, stronger than you. And not many decks have outs to this. And I do have the three evenly matched for those times I know I'm going second. And my opponent just sets up crazy board just evenly. So, that is it for the blue eyes deck profile guys i really really like this build again i didn't i unfortunately didn't win my duels when i went to locals but again that's not anything on the deck's fault it's mainly more so for the fact that you know rng is a very real thing in real life and in video games so i just got hit with bad rng it happens to everybody but it doesn't take away that this deck is still the strongest that it's ever been. Like post Battles of Legends, Legends of Revenge, and now past Duelist Nexus. Like, bro, this deck is just crazy strong. So I will be making an update to this deck. I will be playing this a little bit more than I have lately in the past. But, again, if you guys want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, and Blue Eyes videos always do tend to get a lot of likes and views on my channel, which I really appreciate and really, you know, love you guys for showing the support. Be sure to hit the, give this video a like, share some, share it around, get some, con get some flow into the Blue Eyes circuit, and comment down below what you guys would put in, what you guys would change, what, you know, give me some ideas, because I always want to make this deck the best thing to be like, Blue Eyes is my favorite monster, like, at one point I was thinking of selling this card but anyway this is enough rambling it's been max clausen and i will see you all in the next video 